Welcome back to Upper Michigan Today, everybody. It's an all booked up day. We're joined by Marty Ackett and Andrea Marsh of the Peter White Public Library. We're here to discuss The Waters by Bonnie Jo Campbell, and we're going to uh, discuss it in more detail later on in the program with Bonnie herself. But first of all, okay, I feel like well, first of all, we need to get the graphics department to make um, a special cartoon <laughs> with Andrea crying and so that we can get like an Andrea's crying meter. Because that just needs to be my, my first question of the day is just check in, you know, how's it going? Thanks for coming. What would you put on the cry meter? Cry meter. I, the cry, oh, so if, if five is bawling my eyes out, one is no emotion at all. I'm at like a two and a half. I didn't cry, but I was really emotionally moved by our um, character donkey in here. Um, she's so mature beyond her years. Mm -hmm. She was selfless. She took care of her family. And like, I want to say something, but it might be borderline spoiler alert. So I'm just going to reserve that <laughs> until we talk to Body and see if we can give some spoiler alerts. <laughs> but yeah, I really admired this character. And um, I felt like my inner child wanted to be her as mm -hmm. the way that she would talk mm -hmm. to animals. She would interact with the waters. She was one with nature. You want to be her, I want to be her. <laughs> I want to be her. You want to be her when you grow up. Yeah. So, so she really moved me, not to tears, but I still think about her even after reading this book. She's still living rent-free in my head. Mm. So, I feel yeah. like Donkey, too, like, you feel so much for her when she makes the, dis the, the mistakes that a child would make, but they're there's so much weight to those mistakes because of the living situation she's in mm -hmm. and um, you know how responsible she is at her age for her family as you said so those mistakes you know mean so much more to her and they really take a toll on her well, um, and, and my plus, heart just broke yeah and plus she's the the she's sort of the center everybody is coming together because of her mm -hmm. in that place they come back because of her mm -hmm. and everything so, I mean, she really is uh, just an amazing character. So that's sort of the motivating motivating person throughout the novel. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I love her. Yeah. I, I love her. And I love that she loves math because, you know, I, I was a, I was a, um, I was an undergraduate, I was an English major, but I was also a math and computer science minor. So I really appreciated that focus mm -hmm. on math. The duality so often, of man that yes. we don't yeah. often get. Usually we kind of like categorize people as mm -hmm. numbers people and mm -hmm. words people, but it can be the same. So, um, Marty, why did you decide to pick this for uh, for All Booked Up? And if someone hasn't picked up a copy, why do you think they should check out the story? Um, I think that it's just so engrossing. One, it's for people from Upper Michigan and Michigan, it's set in Michigan, mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. that's one of the things that really um, I was drawn to. Um, I, I've known Bonnie for years, so that was another thing. But you know, aside from that, I would have picked this whether I'd known Bonnie or not, because it's just a story that has so much going for it. I mean, the characters are you you just are rooting for practically every single you character are. in this you book, want, even yeah. the ones that do terrible things are not that you don't want to see them drowned or anything you know you want you want them to sort of um get better you know which is very michigan of you that's very michigan <laughs> very midwest yeah. you know i want to have coffee with these people you yeah. know that kind of thing and tell them why they should be better yeah and tell them yeah. why they should be better and say it's all right you can do better i know that but no i i just um i think that this book i i mean people are going to learn stuff about it um, I did not know about the rattlesnakes. Um, I, that was something that was totally new to me. Um, and the fact that there are rattlesnakes in, in Michigan, I, I didn't realize that. And how the rattlesnake becomes so central um, to the book, which is just fascinating. The rattlesnake becomes like, a character in and of itself, which mm -hmm. is pretty amazing. I found myself rooting for the rattlesnake. Rattlesnake, yes. <laughs> I was team rattlesnake. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and then especially when it's like, you know that the rattlesnake survives, even in the epilogue, it's You're still like, yes. there. Yes, mm -hmm. the rattlesnake mm -hmm. is alive as yeah. well. A lot of unique characters yes. in this novel, for sure. We're going to learn more about this book, about the process of writing it, the mm -hmm. author herself, uh, later on in the program. But when we come back from our commercial break, we do want to reveal our next pick yes. for All Booked Up.